Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. This time for uh, Rude's Lufenia stage. Now this stage is a lot easier to deal with than the last few. Uh, partially because of Rude himself and honestly partially just because I think it's a better designed stage. But the bosses here are these monks, ironically enough called the Masked Monks. And their gimmick literally centers around their masks. I believe just about every time they attack they tend to switch masks. Then it goes from white to yellow to red I believe. Yellow I think gives them some... Brave Battery and HP Regen, while I believe Red just completely makes them immune to debuffs. So you really want to try to keep them down in the lower masks, which you do by breaking the ma their Brave. Which does also kind of work into their uh, orb gimmick. As you can tell, each of them starts with their orb at 15. And in order to stop it, like the one in the middle, you have to keep them under, I believe, 10,000 brave. So basically, just hit them off and hit them hard. And when you break them, their mask goes down one stage. Now, since the change happens between the masks after their turns, uh, using someone like Gladio, who counters, can potentially mess up changing them back. So that is something to keep in mind, should you want to bring a character like Gladio. Now I believe the first orb they get does leave at around 79%. So plan accordingly. Uh, Sephiroth's uh, LD buff being up on them also does help because it has a sap effect. And speaking of Sephiroth, time to bring in the friend Sephiroth. Basically, specifically to take advantage of his uh, BT buff. Because what better way to keep them all at really low brave than to make it so they're constantly at one? And they're constantly going to be broken now. And Wood's just going to go to town. Look at that damage. And some points they do automatically change their masks. I believe they, by 50%, they'll automatically have changed to red, no matter where they are. So there is going to be one uh, debuff cleanse, unfortunately. And I'm just going to keep pushing them back. I believe with this uh, 
all attack they're doing, this is a uh, brave to HP. So it would probably be a good thing to try to keep them separated a good bit. Just so they're not doing them all back to back. Because even with Rude's extremely good healing, he's not going to be able to do anything if they all just take back to back turns and just wipe your party. And at 69%, they got their four back. But that didn't matter. I'm going to use his, his S2 here, get a nice launch. And finish off uh, our friend Sephiroth's time here with an EX, just to do a fair bit more damage. Do another Ultima. Just keep the damage going on everyone. And I'll do another LD with Root here. Get everyone healed up. And come back in with my Sephiroth. It changed to yellow, but that doesn't matter too overly much. Because my Sephiroth has his EX up and ready. And yes, as you can see, they're all changing to red. Going to Ring Holy here, which will change them all back again. Which means I can stick this debuff on them. And reapply Kujas pretty soon. I believe once they all change to red, uh, that's the only time it happens. So we should be safe for the rest of the the fight as long as they don't get too many mask changes. And in fact, I think I'm going to scintilla here just to get them all back to white, just to make things a lot easier. And I'll EX for Kuja. Very nice.
And sometimes they do just do a straight up HP attack. It does heal them a slight bit, but it's nothing too serious. Especially when Root can just do that. And because of the imperils going on, we can keep doing a good chunk of damage throughout this whole thing. Use his LD. Very nice. None of them are really that enamored with uh, Kuja, it seems. And let's get back to breaking. Get this set up. Pinello Call is awesome. And go into my own Sephiroth's Ghost. Ah, oh, they're putting up the shields. Oh, it's windy out tonight. And shields are basically a non-issue. Broke them out of order, but not a, like it's exactly going to matter too much. Wow, look at that Max Brave. I don't know why this one's higher than the friend. I thought that Burst had a fixed high point, but I guess that's not the case sometimes. Let's go into summon now. Just never let them move ever. Never again. And use my last scintilla. Might as well use another LD with Rude. And one final LD with Kuja. But yeah, they're basically doomed. Rude still hitting like a truck. As is Sephiroth, which is very nice to see after the last few stages.
Maybe if I'm lucky, uh, I can use Kuja to double kill him. Or rude, either or. No, I'm just gonna battery up for the next turn. And I believe with this, this should end the stage. Very nice. This was a lot less of a problem than the last few. Especially with a uh, root here. He's just pumping out battery and heals all over the place. Which is a good thing because, oh my word, it was so weird going after his EX. I ended up uh, going after it with gems a little bit. Because I kept getting other EXs when with tickets. I got like five or six twins EX. Like a good three or four Yuffies. It was nuts. So I went after... Is EX with gems because why not? I can't control myself. Got another burst orb. Like a couple more Yuffies. And it took me until uh, 200 G tokens to get his EX to pop. Which is just nuts. I think my entire, like, haul just. EX and above was, I think, six Rood LDs, about four Yuffie EX, about six or seven Twins EX, two Sephiroth Bursts, and a Rood EX uh, with about... 45k and 250 tickets. That's just... Ooh. <laughs> I had... I had an insane amount of luck. But all into weird places that I'm really hoping that doesn't take uh, luck away from the next banners that I'm going to be pulling on because those are very big. Mundo big. Honestly. It's a character I've been looking forward to getting a power up for quite a while. And I'm really looking forward to it. And I'm hoping I have good luck on the banners for it. But either way. Um, hoping anyone else pulling on Rude has good luck. And anyone attempting the stage has a fun time, it's a lot better than the last few ones. It's a lot better, even without the burst shenanigans I was pulling off. It's not really all that bad. Basically, you saw most of the mechanics during the fight. Uh, I believe they can potentially put on a higher powered shield, but it's not that hard to deal with. But either way, uh, I'll sign off for now and wish everyone else luck on their pulls and runs. See everyone.